Hey guys, it is Pineapple with my experience with dimple cheek piercings. So last time I checked in with you guys, I had just downsized my posts and this is a new week. I literally got them downsized 10 days ago and I had to go back up. So what happened was this side kept getting really irritated and all of this sebum, I learned a new word, yay! Sebum was not able to come out because the piercing had swollen so much. So my tip to everyone is if you downsize and you can feel like tight, taut all the way around and you basically feel like there's a coin underneath of your piercing, basically what that means is that you are going to want to go back up in length. That's what I did. So you can choose to kind of grit and bear through it if you would like. But if you notice that your piercings are getting irritated, and if you notice excessive swelling, and the sebum is not able to come out of your piercing, I would definitely suggest going back down in, I'm sorry, going back up in your post size. Um, so that's what I did and it's working out really well. Um, obviously, I just got done doing a sea salt soak and you can just see how totally irritated it is. Now, I'm not gonna actually touch my piercing, but all the way to right here is where the like thick skin stops. And um, I went back to the piercing parlor where I got my um, cheek dimple piercings done at. And um, the piercer that I dealt with today actually has cheek piercings as well. And I was saying, well, I think it's this and I think it's that. And what is the reason? And, you know, trying to figure out, <laughs> I just picked my nose, Ugh. trying to figure out what exactly it was that I did. And um, her information to me was, it's dimple cheek piercings. They're going to swell for no apparent reason. Um, sometimes I, I sleep on this side, but I try to not sleep directly on my piercing. So there's 101 different reasons why it could have been irritated. Um, the only thing that matters is you can see the difference. Like these posts, um, the length of these posts are the same exact thing. And you can see how this one has so much more space on it than this one. Um, and so I'm back up to the same size that I got when I was pierced originally, and I'm okay with that. That means that I'm giving this piercing an opportunity to get all that sebum out of it so that I can continue to heal. So really, really important tip. If you feel like your piercing is really uncomfortable and tight, go back to the piercing shop. They should downsize you or upsize you. Um, preferably if it feels tight, you're going to be wanting to upsize um, in length. And that's pretty much it. So don't be afraid to go back and get them changed. It should be really cheap or almost nothing for you to get your jewelry switched out. Keep all of your jewelry throughout this entire piercing process with the cheek dimple piercings because you're going to need to go up and down and back and forth a whole bunch over the next two years. So that's my check-in. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Have a good one. Bye.